Hi everyone, I'm Sophia and today I wanted to go over some tips for auditioning for Berkeley. I feel like these are a lot of things that are overlooked but are so essential for really preparing for any audition and they've helped me so much. So let's get into it. Number one, preparing pieces that you're comfortable with and that you enjoy playing. It's really better to pick a piece that is a little bit more within your playing level and that you can really thrive at rather than kind of choosing something that's really difficult for you. Know the piece inside and out and enjoy playing it. If you're a bassist, learn the guitar part, learn the lyrics, learn the drum part, or at least like be aware of it. Because of course it's not necessary for you playing whatever instrument you play, but it goes beyond that and it allows you to respond to that and that's really like looking at things that no one really looks at too they want to see that you have potential even if you may not be the most advanced musician right now they want to see that you have the potential and you're willing to put in the time and effort to grow you want to show them that you're someone worth investing their time and money into Someone that's not going to quit in the middle of the program, get really bad grades, or skip class all the time, which will make them look bad. You want to show that you're dependable and that you will work as hard as you can to make your dream of whatever that looks like in music come true. Number three, your interview is just as important as your audition. Prepare your responses in advance and memorize them. Berkeley makes it really easy for you to do this because it has all of the interview questions on their website. Go through them and write out your response. This is the time to show them who you really are, or at least the person you want to be perceived as, and that you're someone worth investing into. Number four, dress up. Make sure you come in an outfit that makes you feel good and that is professional. Dress your best. You only get a small amount of time with your audience and you really want to show them that you're putting your best foot forward. You really can't overdress when it comes to auditions, but you certainly can underdress. Number five, put up as much as you can in the supporting materials section of your application. Put up a cover letter, letters of recommendation, a headshot, any additional videos of you playing, pretty much anything that highlights you as a musician and a person can only help. Number six, tell yourself things that empower you. Your thoughts become your reality. Figure out which affirmations you need to hear the most and repeat them all day long in your head and write them on post-it notes and stick them around your house. These help remind you of who you want to be which is ultimately who you really are inside that may just be hidden by some layers. This isn't something that takes much effort, but it pays off so much without having to do much. Number seven, visualize how you would want your ideal audition to go. Take some time to close your eyes and see your ideal audition. How would you feel? How would you sound? See and feel yourself with confidence and joy. Here is a time to really see and feel your ideal audition and get familiar with that so that it's more likely to come true at the real thing. Number eight, play your best all the time. Whether you're in the practice room alone or on the stage in front of thousands, don't wait until the audition or concerts to start acting like this free person that doesn't care what anyone else thinks. If you make this a part of your identity, no one can take it away from you and it will become a way of life rather than an act. Number nine, don't compare yourself to others. Recognize that you are unique and that is what makes you beautiful. It really doesn't make sense to compare yourself if you think about it. If you were to live someone else's life second for second, you would end up exactly where they are in their life right now. But would you really want that? To leave all of your experiences, family, and loved ones behind to live someone else's life? No matter how much tragedy you may have experienced in your life thus far, that can become the source of so much strength and healing. Be grateful for everything you have had in your life, everything you have right now, and everything that is yet to come. 
honor it. When you respect your own experiences, you can start to respect others as well and really learn and grow from other people as opposed to allowing them to discourage you. Because in the end, isn't that what really matters? It's not a race, it's a journey. Number 10, define your intention. We can sometimes get so caught up in the stress of the details that we don't take the time to remember the big picture. For me, coming to Berkeley was just a stepping stone towards reaching my full potential. Berkeley is not the end all be all, and I feel like when we take the time to recognize that, auditioning becomes less daunting and more of an exciting opportunity. Trust the process and that things take time. Trust that you are exactly where you need to be in your life right now. Growth is not linear. Sometimes we have to go back in order to find our way forward. Trust the process and surrender the outcome. You are beautiful and I can't wait to see the amazing things you're going to do. Let me know how the audition goes in the comments and let me know one of the tips that you're going to try out. Thank you so much and until next time.